Pena crew, how's it going? We are at the Desert Botanical Gardens here in Phoenix. It is our last stop on our Phoenix tour and we are set to explore. $25 gets you in and I am really stoked about this garden. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Let's go see what's inside. and we got this nice map. I've looked at it all over and it looks like there is over a mile in trails and I have to say it reminds me of a zoo. There, there's a lot to do here and a lot to see, a lot of different focuses. It'll be interesting to see how, kind, how many kinds of things that we are able to see. We only have about three hours so I'm not sure if it's going to be enough time. Uh, we're going to try. Flower Trail has so many flowering plants from the deserts and it's, it's incredible. I didn't know that there were that many flowering plants found inside deserts in the southwest. Sometimes you find plants where you are just like, I am not going anywhere near it. That's what this one is, the black spine prickly pear. shade garden area of the botanical gardens and it houses a lot of plants, flowering plants. They do better in moist and shaded environments and so they have this really awesome tree. It's a nice place to get out of the sun which is really hot today. We are headed into the butterfly exhibit. We're going to go check out some butterflies. trails were also awesome and that's less than one third of the entire place. Way around the center loop and headed toward the desert living trail. That is one of the offshoots off the center loop. It's kind of designed like Phoenix. It has multiple loops around the city and you take the offshoots when you hit the place that you need to go and we're going to desert living right now this is a very small loop compared to some of the other ones it is only one tenth of a mile some of the other ones are one third of a mile so this one should be a quick jaunt whoa one of the things that i love is the architecture and the different exhibits and right here we have sundial it is pointing to two o'clock so it's getting into the afternoon right now Archer House. One of the things that I love about this botanical garden is because it's so hot, they have so many places for people to sit, like these chairs right here, or way down there. Those look even more comfortable. And not a shocker, they are. It is the Heritage Garden. All different foliage. It's a memorial garden just as beautiful as the rest of it. These cactuses behind me are 75 years old. Amazing. Some of the first plants in the botanical gardens. Fun fact, the founders abounded it because they wanted to conserve Arizona's beauty, which was being destroyed, which is still being destroyed even to this day. Phoenix is intensively humongous, and so conservation still is as important as it was yesterday, today.
We're at the Sonoran Desert Nature Loop Trail. This one is about one fourth of a mile, and it looks like we are going to encounter a whole lot of cactus. These are organ pipe cactuses, and they are found in a national monument, I believe, at the very southern tip of the United States. It's the organ pipe cactus national monument. It's such a pleasure to see them here right at the botanical gardens. One of the great things about the botanical gardens here is that there are many exhibits that you don't necessarily even notice at first. This right here is a sampling of different kinds of aloe plants from all over the world, ranging from Tanzania to Kenya. That's pretty amazing, and you wouldn't have seen it if you weren't looking. part of the exhibit. Uh, right behind me are some orchard plants. The Spanish introduced the Native American population in this area to things like apricots and pomegranates. And where are we right now? Right underneath a mesquite little stable which was used in the desert southwest. Plus there's agave roasting pits. Those plants sometimes took one to four days to roast. That's incredible, but they use these pits to do the trick. demonstrate some of the Native American structures. So you have some kitchens, some shelters, some places to sleep, all of that good stuff, all of that necessary stuff. This was a nice little loop that showed a lot of what people use the desert resources for, as well as a lot of the different habitats in the desert. aloe display of about eight plants was not enough. We have another one with aloe all around us. Tack on another 10 or 15 different varieties from around the world. Civil B. Harrington Cactus Gallery, and it should be pretty interesting to see what kinds of different cacti are found in the exhibit, although they really are all over. Remember the organ pipe cacti earlier? Yep. So we talked about all the different threatened species, the endangered species. Cactus represents the fifth most threatened of all living things. That is incredible. And the Desert Botanical Gardens here leads the fight in trying to preserve those cactuses. One third of cactuses are currently at risk of extinction. So the fight that the Desert Botanical Gardens has is a formidable one, but it's winnable if we partner together to support them and exercise good conservation skills and don't, you know, pick cacti and stuff. You wouldn't want to anyway because it kind of hurts. That is the exhibit and we are ending it right in the middle, I think, of the loop. I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm a little bit lost in my map right now. We have learned quite a few new things. I hope you found it educational. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos and drop a comment down below. I will tune in to you next time. I hope you tune in to me for another video. Until next time, toodles! Oh, 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 oh,